Hey, this is JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look at some MREs, meals ready to eat. But first, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. Thanks. I know there are channels that share and review MREs from all over the world and I thought you guys might like to see some MREs and these are available from Malaysia. The brand is Kambara which means travel and it says right here meals for your adventures. As you can see it says military grade technology here I'm not sure what that means. Um, very different in look from the MREs that I had or combat rations as we call them in the army. Those are much more tactical and also compressed and packed much tighter. These definitely have a more commercial look in terms of the attractiveness of the packaging and also it's, I just found them a bit bulky and heavy. I actually bought these for my 2024 urban apartment bug out bag but they just took up too much space and they're pretty heavy. I would say that you now even though the serving is 360 grams which is quite a lot, it's closer to half a kg I would say. This would definitely be maybe this about eight to 900 grams. So it's really heavy uh, for the pack and that's why I decided not to go with it. Well, for two reasons. One was the size and the weight, right? Which took up a lot of space in the pack. The other are the choices of the meals available. Now the thing in Malaysia, when I see all the MREs, regardless of the brand, they all tend to be very heavy on gravy and curries and things that basically when I look at, I think I need to go to the toilet immediately after that. And in a survival situation or even an outdoor situation, not really the sort of meal I want. I don't want to get a tummy ache immediately uh, after eating this. But that's just me when I see it. But I guess it's just in terms of the culture and the palate here, people like this sort of food. And these MREs are designed not just for you know camping, hiking, survival, but that's basically general travel as well. So I've got two over here. We've got this one, chicken masak mara with tomato rice, which basically is deep fried chicken cooked in a spicy sweet and sour sauce and served with uh, fragrant tomato rice. Served, served, you can see. Uh, grammar mistake there okay anyway it looks really nice uh, in terms of the packaging i would say it's really attractive uh, when i did look at the nutrition facts i think the only thing that stood out to me was the high sodium really salty maybe it's just due to the need to preserve the food since this is kind of a pre-packaged food and there are actually two ways to prepare this you can open this up and then the food is basically in individual sachets because I believe there's one sachet for the rice, one sachet for the chicken. So you can kind of see over here. And then you basically put them in and then you fill it with boiling water and you close it up and you basically wait seven to 10 minutes and you let the steam come out over here. Now the other way to do it is actually to buy separate food warmers and I believe that's the military grade technology they're talking about. And basically it's those heat packs, right? Very popular now with a lot of different prepackaged foods. You put the food warm up with the pouches inside, you add in water, any kind of water, it doesn't have to be boiling water, and then you let it sit again. I didn't buy it with the food warmers. Uh, I was, well, the real reason is I wanted to see if I could just eat it cold and or at room temperature and see how it tastes like. So I think I will figure out what I'm going to do when I get out into the field. So I'm going to test this out, not here, but in the field. So this one's exactly the same, but this is smoked beef uh, masak lemak with basmatic rice or basmati rice. I mean, so it's smoked beef, slow cooked in a thick and spicy turmeric coconut milk gravy served. And they got it right here, the grammar, with a fluffy and fragrant cooked uh, basmati rice. All right, so I think, you know, as a restaurant meal, this sounds very good as an MRE, I'm not too sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out to the field. I think I will choose the tomato rice one. I'm going to bring this out and I think I will bring my wood stove and we're going to heat up the food and we'll see how it tastes like. And I'll let you know my thoughts in the field.
So here we are in the jungle. I have filmed some gear reviews, done some bushcraft, and it's time for lunch. So I brought the chicken masak mara with tomato rice, and I'm going to cook it with the wood stove. I have put in twigs. I have also fluffed up some jute rope to create a bird's nest. Hopefully it will catch a spark, and we can get the fire going and prepare the lunch. My knife of choice for today is this Topps Bob Fewcraft knife. Uh, this is the 154cm, but with the modifications that I've made, and you can check out that video in the link in the card above or the description below all right so let's get started i'll first open up the pack and get the stuff ready i've also got my water this is the water bottle i use when i'm preparing food i do have a water canteen on my belt uh, but this flat water bottle is in my backpack for food prep purposes and extra water so let's get going and uh, let's try the food So I've got the fire going, I'm going to get my water and then we're going to put it on top. One thing I like to mention about these wood stoves, you really have to get in there, feed the fire and then make sure that it burns down and not just the top twigs burn because they may just go out. But if you constantly just feed the fire and then prod it, making sure the fire drops down to feed on the bottom wood fuel, uh, then you actually be fine. You can see the fire is actually going now and uh, that's uh, pretty good. I believe the water is boiling, definitely hot enough for the purposes. It's actually a rolling boil. And now I need to transfer the water into this packet fill it up so I've got the food packs inside there too one for the rice one for the chicken and then I'm gonna seal it up and then there's a steam vent here where the steam is gonna come out so let's try to do this okay I would say that I had about four to 450 to 500 millimeters of water inside it actually could fill more so that's actually quite a lot of water to put in for just one meal but let's see how it goes so it's not filled all the way not sure if you are supposed to fill it all the way uh, but we'll see what happens you're supposed to wait seven to nine minutes so i'm gonna just give it some time and we'll try the food it has been about eight or nine minutes still warm and i realize in the english instructions they don't say how much water to put but in the malay instructions they did say put 200 ml so i put uh, about 450 millimeters as I said so maybe that's too much but who knows so but at least we now know it's 200 millimeters it's not that much I think that's pretty good if you're going camping that you always want to conserve water so I'm gonna open this up and there are two bags inside one is the rice and one is the chicken uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open this up and I can tell you this looks a lot like the Singapore combat ration uh, that the army uses so it feels soft so it's supposed to be rice okay this side is definitely hot because that was where the water contacted this side not hot at all so i think i'm going to actually open this up they give you a tray but i'm not going to use the tray or the cutlery i think you can actually just open this up and eat it from here but just for the heck of it i'm going to open this up i'm going to put it into the pot so i can put the rice and then i can put the chicken into the uh, pot and then we'll see what happens so I'm squishing it about just to get the heat all kind of transferred. Then I'm going to push this down here so that I can open this up. And there you can see the rice. Okay, let's try to get this in frame and not spill anything. Oh, 
that's pretty good it's pretty dry so you don't leave much behind now let's get to this this tomato oh no this is the chicken masak merah okay it's all warm it's a smaller pack so basically more contact with the water and i'm going to push this down let's open that up well, okay you can see that chili oil so this really looks spicy and that's my one comment about all these dishes if you're out in the field you do not want spicy food oh, look at that oil oh, so much oil okay let's not put all the oil if we can that looks pretty appetizing i'm going to use my own spoon here and let's just mix up everything it smells pretty good actually or maybe i'm just hungry okay so i'm gonna take uh, let's just try a bit of the rice first with the gravy that's pretty decent especially for a ready-made meal and i'm gonna get the chicken i'm gonna see how tough it is or if it's a bit tender hmm not too bad or at all it's not spicy so i thought this would be spicy but i guess it's not because it's tomato rice sorry my mouth is full but high sodium i think i mentioned that earlier i was worried about that and yes it is very salty so much more salty than i would normally eat in my normal meals because i take very low salt but i guess they might need it for the preservatives so personally for me it tastes good easy enough to prepare if you're going camping i think you definitely could uh, bring this along if you're going for many days and you have to bring many packs bear in mind it's gonna be really heavy so if you're going car camping i think this would be ideal i think with the family many different flavors everyone can try different things quite easy but to eat it regularly for me way too salty taste is fine uh, but overall, I think as a MRE, you can't complain. I think it's 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 really good. And I'll try the other one next time as well. Well, I want to finish my lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.